Hello everyone, welcome to the part two of this Python trying to play a self-driving game. We left it at the point where we are able to detect the lanes for the most part, and there is some error. In this video, we'll try to cover two things. One is to remove this error where the lanes are not properly detected. The second is we'll try to control this car using our Python program. Right now, I have to use the arrow keys or the WASD keys in order to move front or backward. We'll use that basically from the Python program to run this car. Now, the number one reason why we are having this issue is, if you remember in the first part, we had this triangle which we created in order to just focus on this particular region of the image so that all the other lines and all the other graphics that are available in the image, we are not focusing on them. So that triangle took care of these lanes but it also takes the car into picture. So let me show you what, what I mean by that. Uh, is if I just show you the masked image, so let's play the masked image. This is the region of interest where we create a triangle to focus just on the lanes. And if we just display the masked image, which is given by M I M G, and if I just run the mask, you can see that it's detecting, it's using the taking care of the lines. But in addition, it's also taking this car into account. And this car, the lanes that are on the left-hand side, you can see there are more lanes on the left-hand side, more than the right-hand side. And these lanes are creating an average because the lanes over here and the lanes over here, they are creating an average, which is making the program feel that the lane is somewhere in between these two things. Because ultimately, after this step, we are using average of all the hook lines that we obtained the next step. So what we can do is remove this car, this car itself, because we are only interested in the lanes. So we can just remove the car, and we can do that by creating another mask. So if you remember, let me maximize this so we can see this more clearly. If you remember, in the region of interest, we created this triangle, and this triangle was just focusing on the lower half of the image so we could take care of the lanes. But now we have to remove the car. So we'll create another mask similar to the mask that we have in the original part. So we'll call it as car mask, and we'll create a different image similar to the, you know, the mask image that we have in this case. And we'll have the same size as the IMG image, the main image we have. And like we had the triangle, which is focusing on the lanes, including the car, we'll now create a triangle called a car triangle. And this triangle will only focus on the car portion of the image. We'll call it as NPRA. Same thing. I can simply copy this whole code here. And we'll try make a few tweaks. So let's see. Okay. So the uh, first half of the triangle, let me minimize this again so we can focus on what we want. So now we want a triangle which focuses on this region. So we can remove the car. So we can start from here, end somewhere here, and the next, the uh, third edge would be somewhere here. So this triangle can basically remove this car. So let's come back here, maximize this. So we can say the width of the image is going to be, say, the main width of the image multiplied by maybe one fourth of that image, one divided by four, will give it a floating point, so we'll put 1.0. So one fourth of the image is where the first half is, so the, the first quadrant of the triangle is somewhere here. The second quadrant would be here, which could be basically the half of the height and the half of the width, somewhere there. So let's maximize this back again. So we can do width is equal to half, and height is instead of minus 50, we can just leave it as height by two. And lastly, the width in this case, we'll keep it in, instead of one by four, we'll give it probably three by four. So we can take care of this particular portion, which is three, probably around three by four. Let's see how that comes out to be. We'll do width multiplied by 3.0 to make it as a floating point divided by four. And instead of height minus 60, we'll keep it half height, just height, so that we are focusing on the bottom region. Now, let's run this. I think the car triangle is created. We have the car mask. Now, we just need to combine these two guys. Like we did the fill poly, uh, we filled the original triangle with 255. 
And if, if we want to just display this, what we can do is CV2 IM show. We'll call it as the mask image, the original map, or the first map. We'll call it as first map. The first mask is given by map, and we'll call it a weight function so we can see the image and we'll give it zero. And let's let's just run this and see how the mask comes out to be. Oh, we need to minimize this so we can see the car. But you can see this is creating a mask. The original mask is some, the big triangle, which is also taking account of all the lanes that we have. Now we want to have this other second triangle, which is which will minus the car. So what we can do is we close this back again, maximize this. And here we will create another mask in our fill poly, CV2 fill poly. And the same mask image, instead of the triangle, we'll use the car triangle that we cre now created. And now initially we filled it with 255, so you got the white color triangle, but now we will create this with a zero so that it can create a black color triangle right in the middle. And this should take care of the new mask. So let's run this and you can see that even though, I mean, since we are not having this, it's creating this, but let me max, you know, minimize this a little bit by doing this and we run this, we can see it's creating a triangle in the center without the car in that. So hopefully that'll take care of the, you know, erroneous lanes that it was detecting. Now let's bring this lane back again. We don't want the weight function or the I and shoot function going on here. And we have the mask image as usual being returned right in the bottom where we have the mask lane. Instead of mask image, now we'll show the final lines image. And let's see if that fixed our problem. Let's run this. And you can see, yes, the lanes are now being properly detected. So it's taking care of the lane. So that erroneous issue is gone. Now, these are the way we solve challenges. We try to understand where these issues are. And you will only come to know if you understand these algorithms. The algorithms that we used in this case was the canny edge detection. We used the hoop transform. Then we used the average of all the lines to detect. I mean, a collection of all lines. We create. We found the average, so we could draw the main final line. So now we have the final lanes that are detected. Let's use Python to control this car just from our Python program. So let's close this. And we'll, we'll use, we'll start to use Windows function. And there are certain functions that we can use in order to you know, control the car, especially to have these keyboard clicks. Like we want to press the W button, the A button, the D button, the F button for you know, basically acceleration, turning right, turning left. So we'll start making these functions. Uh, we'll have this before computer vision, before we start the computer vision aspect, we'll have somewhere here. Uh, we do want to import certain libraries. We we showed you in the, in the first part, we downloaded some of the libraries, imported some of the libraries. We have Win32 API. We need Win32 Con. Uh, we also need keyboard, so we, we can press any keyboard on it. But PyAutoGUI can also help us with that. We'll, we'll see which one we want to use. Now, the first function was, uh, let's turn left or turn right. Oh, before we fix this, uh, there's one issue. Uh, this The game is designed in a way where you can only use the arrow keys or the acceleration keys if the mouse is pointing on the game and it's clicked on the game. Uh, if my mouse is somewhere here and if I try to press the uh, forward button or black button, it won't control the game. So we want to make sure that this window is activated by clicking on here. We will first simulate a mouse click on this particular part of the image or, or the game so that we can now control the game. So we'll first make a simple click function, def click, and we'll say, you know, wherever I point the camera, so this is the X and Y coordinate, it should click. And we'll call the Win32 API to first take the mouse to that particular location. And this X and Y is nothing but the screen co coordinate where we want the mouse to point. So we'll say win32api.setCursor. 
position x comma y so this is where the mouse will ultimately go and then click on it the next function would be for us to use a mouse event to click to do the left click so we'll call win32 api mouse event and win32 con as a mouse event and scroll it capital m o u s e left down so we first do the left down and then we do the left up we call zero zero at that particular instance uh, we'll create a, we'll have a small time delay here so we can you know it's not immediately uh, import time and we'll give a small time delay by doing time dot sleep and let's give it a few seconds maybe 0 0.01 is good enough and now we again do the mouse event but this time we'll create, tell the function to have a left up event so we can release the left click mouse event same thing when 32 con dot mouse we need left up zero comma zero we so this is where it's going to click on it now we do need to know where the mouse is supposed to go so we know where we have to what value of the x and y is supposed to be and we saw in the previous case how we use the python console to import pi auto gui as py and pi auto gui has a function called position which just gives us the position of the mouse wherever it is present now, if I just run this, it'll give you the position of the mouse, which is this particular region. It's given by X and Y, so and so. And for me to press here, if I just leave my mouse here and I run the same code, it's giving me X is equal to 456 by 316. So we'll leave, we'll come back here and we'll just try to run this program with click 456, comma, 316. Let's see if the mouse automatically moves there or not. So we'll minimize or we'll, we can remove all the image processing that was going on here. We don't need that at the moment. We'll just comment this portion so we're not calling any image processing at this stage. We're just simulating the click function at this point. Let's run this and you can see the mouse has automatically come here. Let me leave the mouse here. You can see my mouse is present somewhere on the top right portion of the screen. And if I just click, automatically the mouse goes and comes on this side, which is good. Now the click function is taken care. The next portion is once we have here, we should be able to accelerate the car by pressing the W button. And then we should be able to turn left and right based on wherever mouse or whatever key we are pressing. So we'll call a function called death accelerate. And this accelerate will give it a time function because the, uh, the way it accelerates is the amount of W or the amount of time I'm leaving the W key pressed. So if I leave it pressed for a long time, it gets pressed. I mean, it goes very fast. At the same time, if I you know, have small clicks, a few duration clicks, we, so we can control the speed of the car based on the amount of duration we are pressing the key button for. So for that purpose, uh, what we can do is have a hold time. It can take a variable called hold time. And this hold time can basically you know, simulate how fast the car should be driving. And I uh, will call a start time function. Start is equal to time dot time. And can take a start time function. And while time or the new time minus the start time that we originally have is less than the hold time that we define in the beginning if it's that then go ahead and press the accelerate button which is py e down and here we can specify which key want we want to press so for acceleration it is a so we give a and it takes care of the key down at the same time we do key up once the while loop is done, so we can say key up A. So that should take care of the acceleration for us. But let's test this out by click and we'll give accelerate. We'll give it a small duration. So let's say one second. 
for maybe two seconds and see how, how good the car operates. Well, you know, at this point, we can just run this function and it looks like it doesn't like to go forward. Let's see what's the issue going on here. If the error seems to be in this particular portion. So instead of A, A is basically for left turn. We should have had it at W. Let's see if that takes care of it. So we just have W here. Minimize a little bit and now run this. We can see it's accelerating. I think we, we put two 10. It's going to accelerate until the 10 goes on. Oh, wow. I didn't expect that to happen. Okay. So it, so it seems like the acceleration button is going good. We'll return the game back to its original start. Here we have the W going on. So instead of 10, we'll just give it as one. The accelerate function is going good. We can do the same thing for turning left and turning right. We do turn left, left, turn left. In hold time. We can basically copy the same function right here. So let's come this come down here. We can put the start time is equal to time dot time while time dot time minus start less than hold time. Good. E by e down. In this case, since it's going to be turning left. Here we want to press A. Same time, we want to press B Y, E up, and A. We'll do the same thing for turning right. Call this function turn right. Instead of A, we'll give D. That'll take care of the key press for D. And that should take care of the turn right and turn left function. So we are accelerating, let's say, for two seconds. And we can turn left for 0.8 seconds. Turn right for another 0.8 seconds. And let's, let's test run this and see how this operates. We'll do this. Okay, so it looks like the two seconds are probably too much for it. Come back here, we'll reset the game, accelerate 0.5, and turn left, we can give it 0 0.1, 0 0.1. Let's run this and see how it operates. We did a small wiggle. We get the point, it's working. 0 0.3 maybe, that will give us an indication of what's happening the left turn and then the right turn. Okay, so the car is operating, so we are able to use the return right turn left function to control the car from Python. And at the same time, we are able to detect the lanes. At the next stage, we will use all these information, the lanes and the controlling the car to do a self-direction. We will create a simple, simple algorithm just to make, to make sure we are taking the information and making the car run properly. But meet you in the next video.